I know that one of the largest sources of satisfaction and happiness in my life are like building things. I think I was 10 or, or maybe even 11 when I really got into tech. It was something that I just like understood and I could express myself and it was just kind of a medium uh, to express either my ideas or my thoughts or my emotions. I just like solving problems and there was one, then I went and I solved it. I'm Daniel Singer, I'm 16 years old, and I'm from Los Angeles, California. I did a ton of stuff while I was in school, and you're in 8th grade, 8th grade is not that hard, so don't use that as an excuse. Yes it is, how do you know how hard it is? He knows everything, remember? Daniel is a very special boy. We treat him as, as the adult in the house, I mean everyone that has uh, issues from tech issues to other questions. We always come to him since he was, uh, I think, 10, 11. Never had the, the phase of a child. He's more in the, as an adult. I've known Daniel for, I want to say, roughly four years now. We immediately hit it off, uh, got a sense of what he was working on, and I was really excited to find ways to, to work with him and partner with him and uh, help him build out uh, what he was doing. Shabby's been incredibly helpful with fundraising and just general strategy. And I think that organic relationship just kind of fostered into something uh, that I like to refer to as friendship with, with the caveat that yes, maybe each of us can learn a lot from each other and, and, and that's where the mentor-mentee relationship maybe evolved. One thing that might be helpful, you taking a couple different ideas yeah. and then eventually converging together. Yeah. In the valley where I grew up, like, there's not much, right? My block is a mile and a half long of just house, 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 house. So you don't get to go, go around a lot, so you tend to stick with the same people. The biggest reason why I wake up and build Bond is I see lots of people and I just know that there's someone who's super cool who I should know. I wish that I could have those moments more often, right? I wish I meet great people. So what we want to do is get people out of the houses, get them to really cool places where they're already going to have fun, and while they're there, then introduce them to the best people possible. The way using Bond works is you might be at a nightclub or a bar or a party or whatnot. You can open up Bond and either get introduced to someone interesting there, or if someone catches your eye, you can swipe on them and possibly get a match. That's basically how Bond works. Well, when he pitched the idea to me, I was intrigued by the idea, of course, skeptical, asking all the questions, how would it work, what is the approach. He really satisfied all my questions, but what I cared about more, trying to find a co-founder, is someone who would learn quickly and find new ways to get, use that knowledge in the next step. And I think that's what I, that's what I saw in Daniel, and that's what made me say, all right, let's do this from the first day. Me and Shane have perfected a way of working together and shipping product very quickly and at a very high level of quality that we're happy with. He has the classic product manager mindset. He looks at how can we th get this done as fast as possible. And I have the engineering mindset of I don't want code to break. I don't want messy stuff going on that later I have to go back and fix. And so I try to make something that's scalable and will work you know, forever, essentially. When the dean of Hard Westlake came to us and said that he's wasting his time and uh, he should go and pursue his, uh, his dreams, for us, it was, um, I said, surprise. you're it's a surprise. It's a surprise. And I said, but you're the teacher. That's what you tell us. And she said, yes. What this ultimately meant was he wasn't going to get a chance to, to, to live out this year of youth that he's got. <laughs> because he was going to be focused on all the things that an uh, entrepreneur focuses on, which is I need to build my company, I need to hire talent, I need to get my product out the door, I need to be successful. Tech is not a game that favors people who wait at all. After a day or two of talking, I, I was out and I went straight to go work every day, so. I still have that traditional way of thinking that, you know, you have to pursue your education and then you get started on the market, but he convinced me. The decision to, to take Daniel out of school uh, was harder for my wife, which is more traditional and, and thought he has to complete high school. For me, High school never helped me. I mean, I'm a film producer and nothing that I learned in high school uh, helped me neither in other businesses that I've done in my career. We decided that we will uh, give him the seed round whenever we can for his ventures. And we told him that the partners are his brothers as well. He didn't like that very much, but uh, he understood that. The thing that really stands out is 
you know, whether he has the experience or not, he will go after it and put every bit of effort he can into it to make it happen. And having someone like that on your team is invaluable. Seeing Daniel happy and flourish in what he does, whether it's a successful financially or not, that doesn't bother us or him. At the moment, he's still not even uh, 17, so he's, uh, he has enough time to worry about that. I just hope I can build great products that you know, make me happy, make the people with the product, you know, that use the products happy, and just try and become you know, a better person so I can learn from that.